In this video, we're going to work with ceilings in compiling and the simulation of an up-down counter Verilog program. So let's go to start all programs and go to ceilings, design tools, ice design suit and to ice design tools and use the 64-bit project navigator. As you can see from here, the project navigator is open. Let's create a new project. Let's name it up down and let's place the project in our newly created folder here. It's an empty folder and let's just place it there and put some description descriptions. Then next and make sure you have the prepared language as Verilog click next and finish then next thing to do is add a new source our new source should be a Verilog module let's call it up down and just click then next and here as you can see the up down module is instantiated and the end module here so we'll add some code here let's just copy from our repository in the Verilog and up down raw let's open this both let's just copy this one And paste it here we have already finished our up down counter it has three inputs and one output and one uh, independent register inside the device which will store if your device is either counting up or counting down at post edge clock it begins and if enable and reset is opposite and if counter state is 1 or true the counter is incremented if it's equal to 15 then it's sent back to 0 else if the count state is 0 then the count is decremented and the if count is equal to 0 now then its count state is back to 1 which is going up again so you can see it goes up here but if it's more than 15 it goes back to zero and here it goes down but if it's equal to zero it count state is equal to one then it goes back up again here it goes down because of this this comment specifies uh, the uh, purpose of count state else if it's uh, now, if it's not enabled or the reset is equal to 1, count is uh, set to 0 and count state is equal to 1, where count state is going up. Then let's add a test bench code, new source, uh, test fixture. Let's call it up down underscore tb here and select a source with which to associate the new source. So let's create a text fixture for the up down device let's just click next and finish as you can see ceilings provides us with uh, a template you'll just have to uh, change some things here and here so we'll be changing some details there for example here in the initial begin we'll provide the stimuli and the clock so let's change this part here and the unit under test must be instantiated in the proper manner okay we have completed our test bench code let's save everything okay let's go to the simulation tab and then try to check if all our if all our schematic files are correct actually uh, let's click the uh, test bench first here in order to make sure it's checking this file then double click this 
in order to check the schematic files. As you can see, we have failed, and the reason for that is here. It seems that we haven't registered the outs outputs and inputs first, so we have to copy this also. Sorry about that. So there we go. Let's recheck. So the behavioral check syntax completed successfully, and then we have to rerun all. As you can see, the iSIM or the simulator for ceilings has been opened, and then we'll click this one. As you can see here, we can then change the the radix here into unsigned decimal then you can observe that at, if the reset is down and enable is up it starts counting and however if reset is up then it stops counting so uh, it should be that the uh, reset is down just like here and enable is up so that it starts counting upwards and after it gets to 15 it goes downwards to 14 then 0 and back again to 15 as you can see the uh, simulation cuts up here 